my life I've barely spoken. Your words have been so broken. Mathis and Freeney are the ends. It is first and ten from the 48. First possession for Jacksonville. They get by Eugene Monroe. Here comes Freeney. And a fumble on the play. And the Colts, they're going to mark him down. It is still Jacksonville's ball. Freeney coming through and working on the rookie left tackle. And a loss on the play of eight. Watch him up top. He's going up and then the spin move coming underneath. Walks right into the backfield. David Garrard didn't have a chance. Are you with me now? Said, are you with me now? Ain't felt this good in a while. They want us to simmer down. Can you hear me now? Am I going in and now? I stop and just look around. Mathis almost got Garrard. Brackett's got Garrard. It's all about the pressure. Both defensive ends. Now watch Robert Mathis. He whips because he tries to snatch down the ball. And then there's Brackett and Freeney to finish off David Garrard. He tries to get that ball off. But boy, what about the pressure on the quarterback? Turn in shy, huh? Cell phone became your brother. Internet replace your mother. You leaving homies on red. It's no wonder all your friends dead. Jealousy was a centerpiece. And they won't because Freeney's waiting there for a second. Dwight Freeney is second sack of the season. Warner with that short drop, looked right, then looks left, and, and the ball comes loose, and it's picked up by a lineman, and that's Mike Gandy, the left tackle. And that was Dwight Freeney who came in and popped Warner to extract the football. Well, Dwight Freeney with his patented spin move got there, working against Mike Gandy, and that ball came out. Very lucky for Arizona. Fake to him. Here comes Freeney, and there goes Warner. So Freeney comes around the corner, salutes the people in what they call the red zone. Wallace back at the helm and a first down at the 25 and down he goes fourth sack of the game by the Colts and it's Dwight Freeney remember he wasn't going to play but Dwight Freeney who had two sacks last week picks up another here just the quickness again Freeney coming off the edge who uses his patented spin move and then bowls his way past Brandon Fry to pick up another sack too late to shut it down. Until they see it happen, aren't going to feel like that's the answer. And that's a sack for Dwight Freeney, who finally gets there. Somebody stop the virus. Room full of bodies, but nothing but silence. Yeah, I'm quiet, but the shiners go crazy, turn this to an asylum. You fly, but we ain't looking for pilots. I never bat down to a tyrant, it's highness. Even Jackson, tight end on second and seven. Wow, and that's a loose ball. They're going to calm down. Freeney got to him, and Bulger, and Freeney is right there with the sack. He beats the rookie, 77, Jason Smith. He just uses the speed. It's all-out speed and a race to the quarterback for Dwight Freeney. Third down and 10, they need the 35. Nichols secondary, the receiver deployed. There is a hole by the left tackle was not called. There is a... Kind of a shot put pass and down again goes Bulger. And watch watch the hold on Freeney here by Barron. <laughs> Alex Barron, they got a new left tackle in. Yeah, Alex Barron replacing the rookie Jason Smith. Did not doing much of a better job. Smith under pressure. They got him. Big hit by Dwight Freeney. You know, technically, I'm not even really Freeney spun to the inside. And he now has a sack in eight consecutive games. Blocked by Dwayne Brown. Uh-oh, the guy's curled around. There's Freeney. Brown gave him time. Good coverage sack on the play. Loss of four. They go back to the 28-yard line, and Freeney records his ninth sack of the season. Already nine straight games with a sack. Who can catch lightning in the bottle? Set fire to water coming out the nozzle on the fire. Take his hands and couple, spit around the freezer clock, take the hands of time and couple. 
Cinderella man, Cinderella man, Cinderella man, Cinderella man. There's a storm coming at the weatherman, couldn't predict. I start the ball. You better flee, cause I get ticked. It's a rap. I was down. When I was down, I was kicked. I got up. I'm back to punch it. Into the nickel, straight in the backfield. Third and six, down he goes. He was hit by Freeney, and he was pinched on the outside by Mathis. It's a loss of eight on the play. They got a punt three and out. You don't have to tell the Indianapolis Colts and their defense that putting pressure on the quarterback is how you win games. No one does it better than Dwight Freeney and Robert Mathis. We already told you, Freeney now has had a sack in nine consecutive games, and Robert Mathis got a little streak going of his own. It's as if these guys have a race to the quarterback coming off the edge. Dwight Freeney and Robert Mathis will wreck your game plan. Indianapolis defensively. Rush is coming. Look out! And Young thrown down. Big loss on the play. Here's a clue. He came to the ball and his wife Peter lost his Nike shoe. It's in you. He's in you. He's all up in your psyche too. Now, what's his name? On third and ten. Being chased and brought down from behind by Freeney. 11 and a half sacks for Freeney. He finally gets one today. Boy, and he was looking for more than just a sack, too. See that right hand chop coming down as Orton escapes the pocket. Watch Freeney try to rip that ball out. He gets buried back at the 29 by Dwight Freeney. Watch the get off by Dwight Freeney, who's unblocked. How do you turn loose? Maybe the best pure pass rusher in football. What a gap by the Jets. Freeney again. Oh, they didn't block Freeney again. Are you kidding me? Are they trying to kill Sanchez? How is this possible? Dwight Freeney's got to be going, are you kidding me? This is the greatest day of my life. So say bye to the old H.I. to the new case of rock. Consider it his last to ride. Coop de Gras. Raise him high in the sky. Keep him up. Time to bring the place alive. It's a breaking news. Uh, our information man has uh, found out that Dwight Freeney would be termed doubtful for the Super Bowl right now. That he's dealing with considerable ligament damage in his ankle and an injury that he suffered at the end of the AFC Championship game. And uh, according to Jason Lockenfor, looks doubtful to recover in time for the Super Bowl at this point. And there is Dwight Freeney coming out for the first snap. Freeze. Hit from behind and dragged down. And there he is, Dwight Freeney. For well, the Saints, said they learned from playing the Dallas Cowboys. They didn't think DeMarcus Ware would end up playing in the game, and he just single-handedly destroyed it. They're not doubling Dwight Freeney. You, you see David Thomas looking if he comes outside, but he's overpowering Bushrod.